Praise God, since this is a, a quick vid, I'm doing it as a request for a dear sister in Christ of mine. This is very important. Let me tell you something. A 14-year-old young girl by the name of Makelia Smith from Detroit, Michigan, is missing. The last time her family seen her, she was sitting on their front porch. The next thing you know, she vanished. She's gone. Nobody seen anything. Yeah, I know it's the same old, same old story. Nobody seen anything, heard anything, or know anything. And here's the thing: it's not getting media coverage. You don't see it in any of the alphabet media. Where, where are they? Are we that irrelevant? Oh, and it's not just her. I found out today. Another 14-year-old by the name of Tawana Wiley. The last time her family seen her was 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And they described, you can pull it up. It's, she was, uh, they described every piece of clothing she had on. She just vanished in the thin air. You see, this is how undervalued they consider us. They, they, they don't even, there's a certain political party. That, that that doesn't seem interested in us at all. Our welfare, our well-being, uh, excuse the choice of words, they just don't seem to care. Do you understand how important it is to keep God first and unite? Now the parents, keep the parents of these children and their family in prayer. They're missing. How would you feel? I don't care what color you are. If you walked home, saw your child on the porch out playing or walking down the street, and the next thing you know, out of thin air, in the middle of broad daylight, where everybody's outside, nobody's seen anything but your child is missing, and the media is not paying it any attention, because you are undervalued in society. That's how they depict you. That's how the media depict you. This is a, this is just disgraceful. Where are all the civil rights leaders? See, you can't trust anybody. Let's. Pray that this type of foolishness stops because it looks like uh, something sinister is going on. Is this a coincidence? I don't think so. Brothers and sisters in Christ, there's a sick world out there. And the further they pull away from God, the more disastrous and insane things happen. People are just filled with sin and they just don't care anymore. If they can walk in, you see what happened in Connecticut, walk into a school and shoot down all those children. Innocent children, what do you think? But at least they got coverage. This is not getting any coverage at all, and it's a disgrace. So pray for the family of Michaelia Smith and Tawana Wiley. We need to go and talk to our churches and unite on one accord and bombard these news media, CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC. And go to our police precincts and demand action. This should be up on CNN and Fox and MSNBC and all the other news media. It should be up there until they find out what's going on and find these children. Don't consider children unimportant just because, you, you know, they're black or Hispanic or any other color or, or poor Caucasian. But this is the type of politicians we have now and they just don't care. Career politicians. <laughs> Representative Republic are right here. Okay, and I'd just like to finish this off. One of the most disgraceful, disgusting reports that I've heard in the last few days is coming to view now. After, from 2010, a little girl, seven year old girl by the name of Ayanna Jones, was sleeping on her grandmother's couch when this clown busts in the door. This special unit, police unit in Detroit, yeah, it's always, yeah, Detroit, Chicago, no, in Detroit, and shoots this seven year old girl in the head while she's asleep. And he came and told a lie, saying, why did she hit me? Now they, now the officer, and the name of the, the officer who shot this, who killed this girl, is Joseph Weekly. Now the officer standing right behind him was Sean Stollard. He was right behind him and he said he didn't see any struggle, anybody fight for the gun or anything else. Now the grandmother, quite naturally, and the family said that they, that man just bust in there and to deliberately kill that girl.
I mean, to deliberately kill someone. And the person he was looking for is upstairs in his own apartment. Do you see how we are being treated? The Constitution is being stepped on. They, let, let me tell you, it's not a black thing. It's not a Spanish thing. Do you understand what they're doing? It's not even a white thing. They just don't care anymore. These career politicians, anytime they stepped on the, they're stepping on the Constitution and they're using it to wipe their feet on. Your liberty's being taken away. They're spying on you. Now they're getting ready to go to war with Syria. Yet they're broke. All the millions of people are unemployed here. This is a disgrace that they're butchering children, the people that's supposed to be protecting us. We need to stand up and let our voices be heard. This is a disgrace. This is not what the God of heaven wants. It's a disgrace. Call your congressmen, your police stations, and your churches. Tell them you want action. Yes, let's unite. There's strength in unity. And above all, put it to God first. This is just disgusting. Busting in the door and shooting a seven-year-old child? There's no excuse. God bless you, saints, and we have a lot to pray for. Because if we don't, I told you before, and I'll tell you again, they're going to kill Christians right here. They're going to kill children of God right here. God bless you, saints. Keep the faith and keep on praying. God bless.